while we was having so much fun. I didn't know it was half past one. Turned around, gonna have one more. I looked at the clock, it was half past four. Hey, bartender, hey, bartender, hey, bartender, hey, bartender. Draw one, draw two, draw three more glasses of beer. All right, hey guys, this is AJ Unlimited here to bring you another video. And today we're doing something a little bit more fun, a little bit more, let's just say, something, a little something, something to lift the spirits. My, I, th I feel like my last like few videos have been more on the serious side, and I don't enjoy doing serious stuff, but, you know, a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do when he's trying to make a name for himself, so. So, I've decided to make a video talking about one of my favorite, that was the most Canadian thing ever, a boat, talking about talking about one of my most favorite activities which is drinking alcohol consuming alcoholic beverages adult beverages i have a list here titled 10 10 tips for drinking and this is just general whatever you however you want to interpret that this is just for my personal experience i wouldn't consider myself an alcoholic by any means but i'm definitely like you know i know how to i i can handle my liquor i know how to drink i know how to drink responsibly but still have fun and um not take it too far and you know whatever i just I, I know how to drink like a pro basically so these are 10 tips that i had I just wrote down right now before i started this um that i think everybody needs to hear especially youngins that are i don't know you're in your let's just say you're going into your 20s and that era of your life is right around the corner when you're going to start drinking and you know how that goes. And to top it all off, I am going to be taking shots, probably like every two tips, because that would be like a total of five shots for the video, because I don't, I don't want to be like, you know, I don't want to pass out while I'm making this video. But I have this giant bottle of Jim Beam whiskey. I did open it up. I had to, uh, I put this little spigot on there. I had to duct tape it because it wasn't big enough. I had to, yeah. So whatever. But it is real. I don't know. I was going to like do one of those things where people like open it up on camera and you can hear the. the <laughs> but I'm like it's stupid. Like, like who in the world is going to believe that I emptied a bottle of Jim Beam whiskey and then filled it up with like tea or something <laughs> like what the hell? So is, you know, whatever. Believe it or not. <laughs> you take my word for it. You don't have to. But so I'm going to pour a shot. Now, I only, I only filled it up about halfway because this, this shot glass is actually kind of big. It's like, this, like if I were to fill it up all the way, it's like two shots. So, um, if you are of drinking age, feel free to, to join me here. I do not condone underage drinking. And, um, obviously this video will contain substance abuse, substance use, not abuse. So, uh, take that how you will, but I'm going to go ahead and, um, get started here. So here's shot number one. And then I'm going to read the first couple of tips. So let's do this. Cheers. God bless the USA. God bless you all. And uh, here's to uh, 2,200 subscribers, I guess, because we're about to hit 2,200. So yeah, let's do it. Cheers. Mm. Mm. So tip number one, try not to mix different types of alcohol now when i go out to a bar or whatever i usually try to stick to only one like drink oh that's my air my air fryer is going off sorry so let's say if i decide to have a miller light at a bar i try to just stick with miller light that whole night if i have a jack and coke i try to stick with jack and cokes the whole night whatever you know you name it and what this does not only does it um prevent you from getting sick because if you mix, like, let's say you have, like, a Jack and Coke, and then you have a couple beers, and then you have, like, I don't know, like a vodka something or gin and tonic, uh, these different kind of liquors will not uh, mix well in your stomach, and it'll not only uh, increase your chances of, of getting sick, but it'll also give you a worse hangover. So my advice, if you're going to go out to a bar or something, stick to one drink and one drink only, maybe two, like, 
I mean, sometimes I'll like I'll have like a couple Jack and Cokes just to really get it, you know, get the ball rolling, and then I'll switch to beer and just drink beer for the rest of the night. But either way, don't like, don't uh, go too crazy with that because um, it'll it, it'll you'll you'll feel it the next day. Trust me. Number two, enjoy it. Don't abuse it. The way that I view drinking, especially when it comes to hard liquor and like wine and and things like that, is it's kind of like sitting in a hot tub, right? You're just sitting there, you're enjoying it, it warms you up, it feels warm and cozy, and it makes you feel good. And that's good, that's great. And you should just kind of just like just stay right there. You don't want to abuse it because obviously alcoholism is a thing, and you know getting sick from drinking is a thing. And doing stupid stuff when you're under the influence is a thing. So you got to be very careful to enjoy it, but don't abuse it because alcohol is meant to be enjoyed. It's intended to be enjoyed. Um, kind of like just any other like drug or stimulant out there, like cigarettes, tobacco, or cannabis. Um, you really need to, you have to respect it and you have to respect yourself. And um, if you take it too far you will always regret it no matter what you you know you can say whatever you want but uh just don't go don't try not to go too crazy with it try to just relax you know you know take it one drink at a time and just enjoy it enjoy the pleasure that is it's given you because i mean keep in mind alcohol is it's a gift not a necessity so don't uh, don't abuse it because it'll come back to bite you cheers cheers All right, whoa, whoa. Uh, number three, tip number three, try not to drink around people you don't like because they don't never, ever end well. They say that the truth comes out when you've been drinking, which is true, for, you know, pretty much for the most part, that's pretty true. So if you're drinking around people you don't like, especially people like, I don't know, maybe you work with them or even family or whoever, um, the truth will come out once you... Because alcohol, what it does to you is it, jeez oh, Louise, hold on. Because what alcohol does to you is it numbs you. It makes you feel relaxed and euphoric. And, and after a while, you start to feel like you're invincible. And you start to kind of feel like you're Superman. So in the moment, you're going to want to say stuff. Things are going to start to slip out that you normally would bite your tongue and you wouldn't say it. I made this mistake plenty of times. Trust me, it's not worth it. So yeah, may, be careful who you drink around because... Uh, I again, I learned the hard way that usually that ends very badly and very ugly, and um, you just don't want to be caught up in that. Make sure if you're drinking, it's in a healthy environment, positive environment. You're around people that you enjoy being around, and uh, you know, it just try to keep it civil and peaceful and calm and and enjoyable. Number four, <laughs> when you start to see double, start slowing down. Uh, this is something, again, I learned from uh, experience. I learned the hard way because once you start seeing double, it goes hand in hand with, like, you start to lose, like, you, just motor skills, right? Your hand-eye coordination. Like, you start to kind of walk in zigzags and your speech becomes slurred. And obviously, at that point, I mean, if you're seeing double, you better not be driving because that's very dangerous. Now, you know, whatever. I mean, if you're at home and having a good time, if it's just every once in a while, go crazy. Knock yourself out, literally. Pun intended. But uh, if it's like on a regular basis, you know, on every, let's just say every weekend you're going out to bars. If you start seeing double, especially if you're driving, like stop. Because that's like, that's a telltale sign that you have to stop. Uh, you have to start to, to sober up. Because anything after that, that happens, you will regret. Like anything that happens after you start seeing double, you will regret 100%. I promise you that. So once you start like kind of struggling to see straight start slowing down um trust me you will thank me later for that one okay so number five and this kind of goes hand in hand with number four in a sense uh listen to your body know when to stop again i've learned i can say literally say this about all of these tips i've learned the hard way and this is why i'm telling you youngins out there you're like Listen to your body, and again, when you start seeing double, or when you start to feel sick, you start to feel nauseous, maybe if you start to get a headache, um, just telltale signs that you're taking it too far, and this also is telltale signs that you're abusing it. Um, 
yeah, if you're like, I mean, again, once in a while it was like whatever, it's okay. But if it's like all the time, like for me it was like every almost every day, uh, certainly every weekend. Um, you uh, you definitely gotta be careful and make sure that you're not you're not like killing yourself literally by just guzzling down all this alcohol, this booze. So if you start feeling sick, you know, take a minute, put down the bottle, drink some water, eat some food, and uh, you know, just hit the pause button. You know, or just go to sleep, you know, because it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'm telling you right now as a 27-year-old who drank a lot uh, over the past seven years of my life and then some, um, it's not worth it. Don't don't keep pushing. Don't keep pushing your luck because eventually it will catch up to you and it'll end very badly. Number six, you will get the munchies. Be careful. The funny thing about this one is they never uh, talk about this when it comes to drinking. It's only about smoking weed. But it happens when you've been drinking, too, because obviously, like, it numbs you. The alcohol numbs you, and you feel like after a while, you just start to feel like you can eat or drink anything in the world, and you want to eat everything in sight. And I'm telling you, based on experience, that uh, it'll kind of sneak up on you, and you'll start to just eat everything, and you're going to gain some weight. So (laughs) be careful when it comes to the munchies. Um, You will get hungry and you will want to eat everything when you are when you are tipsy when you are drunk so be careful about that number seven uh do not what i wrote is do not drink and drive unless you are experienced and know how to handle your liquor i shouldn't even say the second part but i mean i've done it before and again this channel is all about honesty and transparency. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yeah, I've drank and drive before. I've done it plenty of times. And I almost always regret it. Especially if like I'm really, really like drunk. And um, it's not fun. And it's definitely very stupid. So my advice to you. And I'm just going to be straight up. Short, sweet to the point. Honest with you guys. Like just don't be stupid. Um, if you feel like you're too drunk. To drive, like, don't, just don't do it. It's not worth it. Because if you get pulled over, it's all over. Your entire life is over, man. Um, So, unless you are, like, a professional drinker, like I am, and you know how to handle your stuff, and you know how to, um, I guess, get away with it, in a sense. Like, I mean, it's kind of like if you know, you know. And there's a lot of youngins out there. And are going to be like, oh, yeah, I know how to do I know how to handle my liquor. No, 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 no. Shut up. Listen to me. Like, do not drink and drive unless you feel really, really confident that you can handle yourself um, and make it home without crashing or getting pulled over or anything like that. Just don't be stupid. Be responsible. That's all I'm going to say about that. Number eight. Once you start to feel it, once you start to feel tipsy and you start to feel relaxed and euphoric, uh, start to speak slower and more articulate because then this will prevent you from, I'm even doing it right now because I'm already feeling it. Uh, this will prevent you from slurring your words and sounding drunker than you are. It's easy to like, it's easy, especially if you're a chick, right? If you're a girl and you've had a few margaritas or whatever and you're starting to feel tipsy and you're starting to feel good and this all, you know, you start to run your mouth. And you start to just talk about everything and anything and you start to tell stories and you start to laugh and whatever, you know. So once you start to feel tipsy, slow down, articulate, take it one word at a time. Nobody's going to judge you for speaking slowly, right? And don't, like, just be careful because um, cause you start slurring your words, especially if you're in a bar. Like, if you're, like, ordering a drink at the bar, You want to make sure you're speaking clearly because, again, usually it's loud and noisy and these bartenders are, like, busy. So you want to, like, keep it, you know, keep it uh, nice and just to the point. Plus, you don't want to sound like, you don't want to be that drunken fool that everybody's, like, trying to stay away from, right? So slow down, take your time, not just when speaking, but just with everything. Just take your time, slow down. Try to remain in control of yourself. Don't let the alcohol, like, take over. Try to remain in control and um, just be 
uh, you know, a likable human being. <laughs> because uh, if if you're gonna be that that drunken idiot that everybody's just like, oh yeah, he's one of those. Like you don't want to be that guy. So just just uh, just slow down a little bit when you when you start to feel it. Shots are starting to sneak up on me. I gotta start talking slower and not eat everything and not drive. Salute. Stout. Yeah. That feels interesting. I like it. Feels good. Feels warm and cozy. I like it. All right. Uh, number nine. Do not drink on an empty stomach unless you are an experienced drinker. So let me explain again. So, like, sometimes my buddy and I like to call each other up on the phone and just drink and, you know, just talk about whatever shenanigans. But we always have this, like, little itty-bitty kind of unspoken challenge where, like, you know, you go as long as you can without eating um, food while you've been drinking because it kicks in quicker and you typically get drunker quicker. But if you're not an experienced drinker, it's easy to take this too far. And it's easier to get sick when you when you uh, are being careful. So, so always drink. Yeah, hold on. No, ah, hold on. I got a burp and it's not coming up. So don't drink on an empty stomach, unless like I don't know. Let's just say you're at home and you're not driving. But even then, it's still not a good idea. Make sure you're 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 you have food in your stomach because. The food will absorb the alcohol and it'll help make you not miserable. Uh, Number 10, do not, this is going to sound kind of weird, but it's true. And listen to me, listen up, listen, Uh, do not do anything while drunk that you wouldn't do sober. And let me explain. And I think, I mean, some of you might already kind of understand where where I'm going with this because yeah, sometimes people say, like, have a couple shots, and then you'll have the, the guts to to do this thing, which is fine. Yeah, it's great, like like karaoke or whatever, let's say, if you're at a bar. But something I've learned is that if I ever say or do something under the influence of alcohol that I would never do while sober, I always, always end up regretting it. So you have to be careful. You have got to be careful. I only I only drink because it makes me feel good. I enjoy it. I don't abuse it. I enjoy it. And that's it. Plain and simple. I don't ever say or do anything when I'm drinking that I wouldn't do while sober because I always regret it. You know, because once you start doing stuff when you're drunk that you wouldn't do while sober, you're starting to abuse it. You're starting to, you're starting to become something that it shouldn't become. So, uh, you got to be careful with that. Just think before you act and think before you speak. And I know alcohol, it likes to take over. And sometimes you let it. And I I let it take over sometimes, but you got to be careful. And uh, don't let it control you. And don't let it, uh, don't let it, don't, you know, you got to keep, make sure you keep one hand on the wheel. Because if you, if you take both hands off the wheel, you're going to start swerving and bumping into cars and bumping into stuff. So, just don't be stupid, and drink responsibly, and um, I consider myself very lucky that uh, after all of my drinking experience, I still haven't ended up in rehab or jail, but I'm not going to talk too much about that, because that's that's a topic for a different discussion, but uh, these are my 10 tips. Oh, I did have a bonus one. Uh, bonus, bonus, bonus. Uh, okay, so my bonus is... Water, carbohydrates, and ibuprofen. Consume those the next day because they'll help you with the hangover. That's my trick. Well, carbohydrates I try to avoid for the most part. But when it comes to drinking water, ibuprofen, and any kind of like, yeah, like pizza, ramen noodles, they all help with the hangover. So just keep that in mind too. (laughs) But that's my video. Um, I'll take one more shot with you guys just because. Fuck it. So here is to AJ Unlimited, which is going to be, mark my words, and you can quote me on this. I promise you, this channel is going to be the most popular channel on YouTube, given 10 years' time. You can quote me on that. So cheers to that. Cheers to everything else that is good in this world, and 
Always drink responsibly. Amen. Cheers. So I guess I'll end this video here. So thank you guys once again very much for watching this. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, you know what to do. Please like, subscribe, comment, email me, hit that bell, I guess. Um, whatever, if you want to be notified when a new video is up. Although I don't really care much about that. Just watch my stupid videos. Thank you guys again very much for watching this. And as always, I'll see you next time. God bless. Went partying the other night, started drinking, got real tight. We well, was playing with all our friends, felt so good we had to play it again. Hey, bartender, hey, bartender, hey, bartender, hey, bar. Draw one, draw two, draw three, more glasses of beer. And she was sitting down the, on the end. I said, baby, can we be friends? You look sweet. Sweet as can be, come on down and drink with me. Hey, bartender, hey, bartender, hey, bartender, hey, bar. Draw one, draw two more, three more glasses of beer. One more for the road. Not, that's not what I meant.